Hi, I'm Meg Sishan here at Renewable Energy World North America in Solar Power Gen in Long Beach, California. Here with me today is Jane Weissman, director of IREC. Jane is the winner of the 2012 Leadership and Policy Award. Congratulations, Jane. Thank you, Meg. So you've had an impressive career that has spanned almost 30 years. Care to give us some highlights? Um, thank you, Meg. And, and first off, I, I very much want to thank Renewable Energy World uh, for this honor, for this of recognition. Uh, I thought your, your project awards last night were, were terrific. Oh, and you. you guys should really be uh, applauded for bringing these projects uh, uh, to the public. So I, thank you. I uh, very exciting stuff going on. <laughs> Um, 30 years, wow, I, uh, geez, <laughs> that, that's an amazing amount of time and, you know, on one hand I'm kind of feeling, you know, what's taking us so long, mm -hmm. uh, but it's been, it's been a great, a great ride, it's been an amazing trip, um, and I really, uh, you know, we started this, you know, I was thinking um, certainly about where we've been and where we're going and where we need to go, but probably one of the most, um, we, we started very early on in the early 90s, um, dealing, bringing people together that traditionally had not been brought together in a non-adversarial kind of uh, environment. So we brought utilities together, the solar industry, the renewable energy industry, regulators, consumer advocates, lots of different stakeholders. And I really feel that we set the, uh, the foundation for a lot of the work that is being done today in terms of policy. And, and rules that are being set. And it was an amazing amount of, uh, of, um, of, of energy, of creativity, of, of forward thinking on how do we really commercial, commercialize these, these renewable technologies. So I'm, I'm pretty proud of where we started and where we've come. Uh, we spent a lot of time um, working on standards and really trying to build quality into uh, practices. Uh, I'm very proud of the work we did with the North American Board of Certified Energy Practitioners. That's a, um, a, a credentialing body for installers and other practitioners. Um, I know that there are other credentialing bodies out now, which I think is great. I think it really shows a, a, a very firm commitment uh, to quality and to, uh, to assurances and to raising the bar uh, that's so important. And you know, when I look at today, um, certainly one of the uh, one of the things I'm very proud of uh, is the recent partnership that IREC has with the American National Standards Institute (ANSI) uh, that really propels us into a whole different uh, realm of quality assurances, and, and, and we're very happy with it. But when I look at at 30 almost 30 years uh, of the work that 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 I've been doing. Um, Without a doubt, it's the people. And I have learned and benefit, benefited from these incredibly smart, creative, dedicated folks. Um, and every day I get to work with them. And a lot of my colleagues are now good friends and it has really enriched my life. Mm. Now, you mentioned you know, 30 years, what's taking so long. Uh, what do you think are three major tasks that need to be accomplished to move the industry forward? Just three? Just three. Uh, just three. <laughs> I, I'm just kidding. Um, it, you always need forward motion. I mean, that's you know that's that's what makes everything dynamic and and, and where you want to go. Um, I, I certainly I certainly think that that one major area where the industry, the community, really needs to focus is on jobs. Um, we we had some very high and in a way false expectation. Uh, with, with jobs when the whole green buzz started, you know, a couple of years ago, and green jobs were go was going to take care, of taking out, was going to take us out of recession. It was going to solve all of our problems. But I think the industry has to come back to the value that we bring, not only for the other benefits renewables bring to brings to the energy pool, but to what it does for jobs, and and, and that's critical. I think the other, uh, another important part that the industry really needs to play is how do we move renewable energy and energy efficiency out of the partisan political arena? And, um, you know, we're, we're really talking about the economy. We're talking about uh, energy security. Uh, we're talking about getting, getting children um, uh, away from needing uh, inhalers because of all the uh, childhood asthma going on. I have yet to see a child with 
uh, an inhaler in, in his or her hand identify themselves as coming from a red or a blue state. So we really, this, as a whole, as a whole community, we need to move this out of the political um, uh, dialogue and debate and fights that go on into, a, into the reality of how important this is. And then just the third, um, third point I'd like to make is, is how important it is to um, uh, make sure that our goals and our objectives are, are reasonable, um, reachable, and make a lot of sense. And I think that we do run the risk of over-expectation or mis-expectation, and that it really is important to make sure that we don't go in one direction, uh, leading us to unintended consequences. Um, now, the president just released the 2013 energy budget, and it includes increased investment in renewables and a possible extension of the 1603 grant. Um, what are your predictions for 2012 policy and beyond? That's a great question. Maybe, maybe I should answer that on November 7th, the, uh, <laughs> the, the morning after. But um, it, it, it's a tough, uh, a tough question because we don't know uh, what the political landscape is going to look like in November or, or next January, more appropriately. Um, I still think policy is going to be set by the states, and we have been working with the states. And policy is, policy is, is inconsistent. It's, it's um, you know, it is, it, it's fickle, and it, it's very complicated, and you, you really just can't approach policy uh, whether it's on the state or the federal level, as a, as a one-shot deal. Um, you really are looking for stackable policies. Uh, you need to have a, a group of policies working together in order to make the market. And certainly, um, I think that whatever happens nationally, uh, the states will continue to be the driver uh, of policy, uh, at least in the, in the near term. Well, thank you so much for being here and giving us your great insights. Uh, and again, congratulations on your um, award. Meg, thank you. It's a pleasure being here. Thank you. Thanks.